Hello everyone, I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV. Today I'm going to show you the Lance 1172. Now this is the largest truck camper that Lance makes. You guys probably already know that Lance is synonymous with quality. So we're going to see a lot of that today. Four season camper. It does require a dually. The weight on this, with all the options, you know, base weights don't always include options, but with that, you're gonna be about 4,800 pounds. Um, but a lot of duallys will handle that, and you can go 450, 550, uh, whatever size you want. But keep that in mind if you're trying to match this up with a truck. Any added water is gonna weigh a little bit more. All right. It's 11 foot, four inches long on the base. So you are gonna hang out the back, remove your tailgate, but you will not believe how spacious it is inside. And quality, it is really a gorgeous camper. It is not the grandpa truck camper that you may have seen in the past. So let's go inside and take a look. Stepping inside, if you haven't been in a truck camper lately, you're gonna be surprised at how this feels. It's really comfortable and fits on the back of a truck. Wow. All right, I'm gonna start right over here at the step because just opening that second step is gonna show you the battery compartment. In that battery compartment, you've got a standard battery in there now is what we're showing you, but there is an option to add lithium. That is from Lance, or your dealer can do it either way. All right, and of course on the right-hand side is all the controls. Let's take a look at those. Down at the very bottom of that cabinet is the switch for turning the slide outs from electric to manual. If you would like to manually push in your slides, if you have an electrical issue, if your batteries are dead, you just pop that switch and uh, move your slide outs in. But up at the top is the, the switches for all the lights, of course, the power awning switch. And down below, you'll also see um, a switch right here on the left, and that is gonna be for your backup camera. Why? Because that is wired into your 12 volt. You don't need that backup camera running all the time. You just want it to run when you're driving or when you feel like you need it. So a switch right there inside the door. Everything is easy access. There is a remote control to raise and lower the jacks, but if for some reason your batteries die on that remote, you know, it happens on TVs all the time, you do have an emergency one that can plug into the camper right here. So that's what that extra little phone plug is. All right, enough of that control. Let's talk about all the cool stuff in here. And I wanna start right here with this sofa seating in the back. You know, I have to say, I think this is my favorite seat in the entire camper for lots of reasons. One, you know, it feels so comfy. It feels like a sofa. You've got a table right here for your drinks. And of course, if your table isn't something you need, you can take that out and have a little more open space here. Not a problem. It's just a pole removal right there and the floor is flush. Next best thing or Maybe my number one thing is going to be the footrest. Just pop that out and you've got a nice footrest on both sides. So yeah, the TV is gonna swing out and face back here if that's where I'm sitting. Wouldn't this be awesome? Just relax in the back of your truck camper. You do have lights right above, which I always love because this might be someplace where I'm working, um, but you have a control up here. So these lights are dimmable. When you're camping and it's dark outside, these lights can be really strong. So having dimmable lights above both of the slide outs, I think is really a nice upgrade. Now let's kick this in. They just pop right back into place. Now, if you take this table out, then this sofa does lift up and jackknife into a sleeping area. Probably you can tell it's only about four feet long, so it'd have to be a small child, you know, or maybe your favorite golden retriever. I don't know. Whatever works for you. Also, I like to use the storage underneath it. If you are opening up this from a sofa to a bed, if you go about halfway, you can see there is a lot of storage underneath that you can access. Great for extra blankets, extra bedding, maybe those boots that you only wear once in a while, whatever you need occasionally would be a great storage 
right underneath this bench. All right, you also have storage on the side of it. Open up these cabinets here. You've got three shelves. The top two, well, the bottom one is, of course, not movable, but these two in between, they're adjustable. Any of the specs on this specific camper are right here on the side. A lot of truck camper people are a little vague on what things include. There's a lot of information on that sticker. So if you are worried about weights, what it includes, whether it includes options, water, exactly what you're looking at, please check the Lance stickers because it spells it out very clearly. What I like to do is take a picture on my phone. That way it's easy to kind of read it without sticking my head in the cabinet. The light comes on when you open up this cabinet so you can see what's in it. And you've got another one right below with two shelves. You know, every inch needs to be used in a truck camper. Let's keep going this way because right over here, you've got the dinette slide out. So over here in the dinette slide out, there is a step up into this dinette. Obvious reasons because it has to slide out above the rail on your truck. So it has to come up to clear that. Now, it's very comfortable for four people. I love this white kind of a, a marble stone look. Uh, and it isn't a shiny finish here. It's kind of a matte look, very sturdy. The way they do their tables is maybe a little different than what you're used to. You can raise and lower this to make the bed and you just pull this handle over underneath, just unhook it, and then you push down on this table. No poles, nothing that to juggle. Just give it a push, I have to stand up, and you push it down into place. Then when you're done, and of course I didn't push it all the way down, these cushions just slide over to make a bed. The bed is 44 by 72. So you've got a full six foot bed here. Bring it right back up when you're done, Hold these cushions back up and bring that handle over and you are locked into place. So it's real simple to do. It's a very nice working space and they have put a plug right over there to plug in your computer or any other electronics that you might be using right here at the table. This is also a great place to show you the windows. Now the windows are dual pane acrylic and the reason these acrylic windows are so popular is because not only are they lightweight, but they have, of course, an air pocket in them, so they insulate. Also, look at all the airflow. It's not a slider where you only get air on half of it. You get the entire window. Pull down screen. You can pull up for a blackout shade. You could, of course, do partial if you want some privacy and a little airflow. Or my favorite, just a whole lot of beautiful outdoors coming in. All the windows are like that and it is really nice. Now the back window doesn't open, but I'll tell you a little more about that later. What you're seeing up here is going to be a bunk. It folds up out of the way or you simply unclip this right here and it swivels down into a bunk and sits right here on the rails. Very simple to do. And when you're done, you just flip it right back up and out of the way. So there's a lot of people who could stay here. If you've got a group of kids going with you, don't rule out a truck camper because it just might work for you. Again, these lights are gonna be dimmable. I think that's a really nice feature. And now that we've talked about that, let's look at the storage underneath. Now outside, you've got two compartments underneath these seats, but you've also got pull out drawers on the inside. They have a button that's gonna lock them into place when you're going down the road, but pop that button out, slide this open, and wow, this drawer is like eight inches deep and a ton of space. It could be pots and pans, it could be outside gear, you name it. And it's the same on both sides. Now let's flip over and take a look at this corner kitchen. Corner kitchen makes it sound like it's cramped, but this doesn't feel that way at all. So a really nice residential style stove with the iron grid on the top, not a cheap little metal plating on the top. You've got three nice size burners and the glass top that flips down because when you're not using it, that becomes 
of course, more counter space. Down below, you do have an oven in this one. You can get a convection microwave in place of this oven. Now, if you're not familiar with convections, you know that they can grill a steak or bake a cake, uh, make those biscuits for that biscuits and gravy that you love. Um, and that can all happen in a convection oven. So you can get a convection microwave right here, or you can get the standard oven and the microwave on the top. If you have the convection microwave down below, of course, this will be more storage. So you've got a choice there. Let's look underneath. You've got a small drawer here. It is about four inches deep, but nice utensil drawer, something small that you want to keep down here. You never want to waste a space. In here, this is again, about two and a half feet deep. So this is a long space in here and it does go to the side. The bottom one is only about 12 inches deep. So it's a little narrower because you've got some appliances and plumbing back there, but really nice under sink storage there. I love this solid stone countertop look and the flip up table on the side. Yep, look how to lock it into place. Now, if you need more prep space, the table is right here. So you can always just use that as well. If you somebody who loves to cook needs a little more room. These are nice heavy pieces here for your sink cover. Let's move them out of the way because you have a black, it is a composite, but it looks like a granite sink and it is an undermount. So you've got that really sleek, stylish look and a nice residential faucet here with the high arch. You've also got the sprayer on the end. I really am fond of the black uh, hardware that they're putting in a lot of these campers now. So again, not using the sink, just leave these covers on them and you've got a beautiful countertop right there. Plug right there in the back at the corner, hood vent. Let's look at the storage up top. This is the full depth, just one big open area here, and you've got the plug at the top. You will see plugs inside the cabinets for the microwaves. Why? Because by code, you have to be able to unplug the microwave if you have a problem or it starts on fire or have any issue. I mean, I hate to talk about that in a video, but people do ask me, why is the plug there? It's in the way. Well, that's why. It's just for safety and easy access. Big storage here. They have two shelves here. If you needed a tall space, this is just setting in here so it could come out if you would like to take that center shelf out. Nice LED light underneath here. So really a very nice workable kitchen. So let's come around the corner here. And you've got Another 110 plug right here on the end. So one in that corner, one on this side. I mean, I always talk about a coffee pot. You know mine would be in the corner over there. Down here, two more drawers. Again, four inches deep, but about 15 inches long. So you've got a good storage space right here with two more drawers taking up that extra, extra, um, space behind the cabinet. On the end of this cabinet, you see the GoPower solar controller at the top. There is an option to add a 100 watt solar panel on this camper. There's an option to add 200 watt solar panels on this camper. So all that can be added on the roof. This controller is going to be sure you don't overcharge the batteries with the solar panels. And it can also give you information about your battery usage and how charged your batteries are. It's also Bluetooth, so you can get an app on your phone and connect to it that way. Down below, there is the convenience center, which is basically a monitor panel. It's gonna tell you how much uh, water is in all your tanks and give you a reading on your batteries. So these tanks are gonna be 44 gallon fresh, 35 gray, and 35 black. Plenty of tank space for a camper this size. And over on the right, there's the water pump the water heater and the water heater has two switches because it's gas and electric. Now with the Truma upgrade, that's going to look a little bit different. So you can check this monitor panel if you want to know which water heater is in your camper. Next to that is going to be the switch for the generator. This camper has the optional generator included. It is an Onan 2500. 
it can run the air conditioner or the microwave. And those are the two things that really need more power to run if you're not camped in at a campground. You're not gonna be able to run them off the 1500 watt inverter that is in this camper. Now that 1500 watt inverter, it's an option, but it is gonna make all of these 110 plugs that are basically household plugs that usually only work when you're plugged in at a campsite. It's going to power those for very small appliances. So keep that in mind, it's an option. This is going to turn on your generator and turn it off. It tells you the hours on it right here. They are super quiet and I'll show you where that generator is once we're going through the outside. Runs off your propane. No need to carry any extra fuel. It's going to charge your batteries too. Great off the grid feature. All right, let's keep going. More storage underneath the television as well as these two long pockets. I always have papers, books, a few other things that I just need to tuck in somewhere. Great space to do that right here. And of course, the nice TV that you can pull out and face towards the dinette or the sofa in the back. Just comes out and swivels wherever you need that to go. When you're not using it, it is completely out of the way. Let's talk about what's on the ceiling before we go any further, because right above me is the air conditioner that you may be used to seeing. It's a Coleman air conditioner. And while they do a great job, in the end of this year, Lance is gonna move to a Truma Aventi. Why is that a better AC? Well, one of the things I love about it is if you're in cold climates, you're running the furnace and that's gonna create moisture. And you have the option to run a dehumidifier with the Aventi. So that's important. You know how much we all work to keep the moisture out of our campers when we're camping. And that is a way to do it. Run the furnace, but run the dehumidifier on the Aventi and that is gonna keep that humidity down. When you're running the air conditioner, of course, the dehumidifier is kind of built into every air conditioner. Now down below, you'll see the intake for the furnace. Now that is the standard furnace, gonna keep you nice and toasty in here, and it's gonna heat up that enclosed underbelly to keep those tanks from freezing. In the later 2023 models, that is gonna upgrade to a Truma appliance as well. It's the Truma Vario. And what that is gonna do is just run more efficiently. If you are camping off the grid, that's gonna be important to you. So that is a Truma upgrade that will happen in the later 23 models as well. Now, the third thing is there is gonna be the Truma AquaGo. That's gonna replace the standard water heater. It is an on-demand water system. It's gonna heat up real quickly. It's gonna give you more consistent hot water that if you run it correctly, you might be able to take a very long shower and it's gonna be more efficient. You notice the keyword in all of these Truma appliances is that they are much more efficient than what they're using now. Really important if you wanna use this camper, maybe not plugged in at the campsite. So this camper doesn't have all the Truma upgrades on it, but look for those in the later 2023s and beyond. That is the new standard for Lance. The wet bath, it's really comfortable. You step inside, you've got the same countertop that you did out here at the dinette and storage underneath that looks very residential. Let's take a look. Inside, this camper is about six, eight in height. Of course, I'm five foot tall, so I like to mention that. It's a pretty tall camper inside. You do have a, a light power fan up here, not the super high powered ones, but again, that could be replaced if that's something that's interesting to you. When you step up into the shower, you're gonna lose a few inches in the floor. We see that a lot, but you do have the skylight at the top. So it's still about 6'6 six, six at that point if you use the skylight. A full surround in this shower with a small seat. I don't know, you could soak your feet. If you have to wash a small dog, maybe bathe a baby. This is a nice setup. I really like the black hardware again in here. Very stylish with the sink and there is counter space on the left. I know some of you like it to be just like your bathroom at home. Leave those toothbrushes out, maybe a makeup kit, whatever you need, right here on the counter. Let's take a quick peek at storage because we've got a drawer on the left. 
I love drawers and I particularly love them in the bathroom. So you've got about a three or four inch deep drawer right here and then the storage on the right. Now your toilet paper holder is right inside here. So I don't know, I have a good idea what I'd be storing in that cabinet. Plug right here on the front of the cabinet so you can plug in whatever you need that's sitting on the counter. Towel bar is underneath the storage on the sidewall behind the toilet. So another great place with two shelves. Now it's only about three or four inches deep, but I think I would take towels and roll them up, fit them right in there, and that would be my towel storage. I know you may have a better idea, but the bathroom is very workable and it's got all the right features for a camper this size. All right, across is the refrigerator. We're gonna jump over, we're kind of hopping around, but you guys can keep up, I know you can. So let's go there. So right here we have the six cubic foot refrigerator and it's gas and electric. Got some nice space in it here. See the three shelves and let's take a look at the freezer. You know, it's always nice to see what the inside of a refrigerator looks like. I don't know why we know the cubic space, but I wanna see how it's designed. Again, it's gas and electric, and I would take advantage of this little space right up here because that could be a little shelf to put just a few things that need to be out of the way. All right, coming into the cab over, you've got not only the step here, but a step right there and a really nice seating space here. It is almost four feet. I think it's about three foot ten. So you've got a lot of headroom in here. That's something that I look for in a truck camper to be sure it feels comfortable. Um, curtain that can separate everything. And of course the stereo CD DVD player right here at the top. Um, it is Bluetooth, so you can always control it with your phone. Cabinet underneath, one kind of deep shelf that goes all the way down to the floor, and then the two adjustable ones up above it. You do have a little more storage right up here. That is about six inches deep, but some nice storage along there. And you can see that you've also got a shelf on the front of the bed with a rail on it. So all those small things, the book, your glasses, uh, all of those things can fit right up there above your head. The reading lights I think are especially nice. If you like to just read in bed, you can turn them on and off right there laying in bed with just the push of a button. The mattress, it's a true queen, 60 by 80. Didn't skimp on that one single bit. So that is super nice and it's comfortable. It's not a cheap mattress. So you may not need a topper in these Lance campers. I know that's a popular feature when you get those mattresses that just aren't comfortable. Let's look on the other side because that is where all the storage really is. You not only have this nice cabinet in the front and let me point out that that gives you a window on both sides. That airflow can come all the way across and up at the top, this very cool hike event. Again, it is dual paned acrylic, it's insulated, and it has the screen that comes across and the blackout shade. But my favorite, I love it wide open, just letting the outside come in. That's why I'm camping. So the, let's get back over here where the wardrobe is because this is where you'll do most of your clothes storage, I suspect and you've got the hanging bar all the way across, the mirrored front, so you can hang clothes or you could put a basket system in there, maybe shelving, whatever works for you. But a really nice storage space right there. And above it, you have another open cubby where you could put more things. So a lot of storage space on this passenger side. Up here on the top left, you've also got a switch for the WineGuard auto-locating satellite. There's brackets built in right here so you can easily add the framing and the TV to have a TV in the bedroom if you wanted. Connect it right up there to the satellite. Your receiver could sit right on that shelf or you could hook that connection to your cable in the campground. So all the options and it's ready for a TV back here. At the end of this cabinet, there is a switch for the Wi-Fi extender on the roof. Now, what a great feature because getting that Wi-Fi to work well in a campsite is really important for some folks. 
Now, a few more convenience features I wanna point out before we go outside. One, the handle right here. I find it so convenient to have a handle here. Stepping up, they put nice steps in a lance to get up into the bed area, but that handle is just great for stabilization. You have a nice hook next to that for hanging whatever you might need access to. Uh, and down below, that is gonna be the controls for the air conditioner. Now you may have noticed it's pretty hot here where we're filming. We have all the windows open, and if we weren't filming, we would have these power fans going. You have this hike event open for more airflow right above me here. And then you've got a skylight, gives you great light, but past that, a high powered fan. Now with that fan on, it is gonna create a very nice breeze in this camper. You may have noticed a little bit of light changing because when the wind blows, it's turning that fan just a bit. So when it gets to spinning fast, you're gonna get a lot of air moving in here. So you may be camping off the grid and not need that air conditioner, even in kind of warm temperatures. You do have a fan in the bathroom, but it is a standard fan, not the high powered fan, but you could always change that if you wanted. They're standard sizes, so it could be replaced by a dealer. Enough about all the details and the things I love in here. Let's go outside, because there's a whole lot more to look at. On the outside of this 1172, of course, with the wonderful swing out handle that it's gonna make it so nice coming in and out, uh, because when this is on your truck, you're gonna have steps, but there is an optional keyless entry right here on this model. Always a great feature to add because that's gonna allow you not to have to carry that key around. You'll notice up top, we've got the 12 foot awning and like all the Lance models, you notice it doesn't have any arms so they're not in your way when you're walking underneath it. It's also gonna have a light at the end so it's gonna light up the outdoor space. Now right here next to me is the propane tanks and because this has a generator on it, they put the two seven gallon tanks on here, not just the standard fives. So you've got a lot of propane on board. Of course, the automatic switch over on the regulator. Outside speakers, I mean, gotta have tunes inside and out, right? Behind me here, that is the outlet for the furnace. And if you keep going, you have the inlet for the 45 gallon fresh water tank right up above. The 110 plug here inside this compartment is going to be access to the water pump. It's also gonna have this winterizing hose that's already put in there. So if you need to winterize this camper, super easy. All right here, easy access. The water heater outlet is gonna be on the end. And let's look underneath because right under here, you've got a gas port that gas port is gonna be for a barbecue grill or anything else you wanna connect underneath your awning out here. And you can see the propane lines running all the way up. It's also a good time to point out that these are access plates. You know, this is a heated and enclosed underbelly. So whenever you have a camper like this, it's always great to have easy access, uh, get to the wiring and the plumbing that's underneath there, be sure everything's operating correctly. Okay, let's move around um, to the front. Of course, electric jacks. On the 1172, because this really needs a dually, it is made for that dually, so you have these swing out brackets that are standard on this camper so that those large wheel wells can get underneath it when you're backing in. You know, on this side, I just love to point out the mountain graphics. I, at one point in Lance's history, they were optional. With the 2023 and up, they're gonna be standard and just adds a, a lot of cool exterior look on this, not the regular swooshes that maybe you've seen in the past. All right, let's move along. Now, if you haven't ever loaded a truck camper, I wanna point out that they do a real nice bumper system here along with the uh, silicone strip so that as your truck rides right against that, it is gonna be smooth, it's not gonna rub. You do have a channel here, so if it's raining, the water comes down. All of that funnels out, doesn't go straight into your bed. Let's look at the front cap while we're here. 
Molded front cap on this, it's not just a fiberglass wrap. Now, molded front cap, somebody asked me recently, why is that important? Well, this is like a hard shell cover on the front of the camper or the trailer that's gonna be going down the road. It's much sturdier than just a phylon cover. So durability holds it together, easier to clean, takes all that wind pressure without damaging and flexing the unit. A real nice feature on these lances, not to mention really good looking. All right, let's keep going over here. Now you're gonna have to plug this truck camper into your truck. So here is the cord that does that. Now this is a proprietary plug for a lance, a little different than the seven way you'll see on a lot of units. Why? Because they put a little heavier gauge wiring in here than the standard seven way. That way, uh, the charge line that's gonna charge these batteries when you're plugged into your truck going down the road are gonna get more charge coming that way and it's gonna operate better, charge faster. All right. Let's keep going around here on the slide out. Magnetic holds, of course, to keep these open. And you've got storage here and more storage right back here. Of course, this is on the back of the dinette. You've also, on this model, got the slide out cover. Again, an option that you can add to a lance, but Really nice feature to keep that slide out free from debris and any, you know, sun or rain damage while you've got it open. Underneath here, right, the first thing I'm going to show you is going to be the uh, Onan generator. This is the 2500. Of course, we saw the controls inside, but this runs off propane. So you don't have to carry any extra gas. It is very quiet. So if you're in a campsite, you want to run what is, what is camping approved. So a uh, nice quiet generator. That allows you to be off the grid along with the other features. Now this camper does have two large solar panels on the top uh, and it has an inverter in it. So you've got a 1500 watt inverter, the two solar panels are options, as is the generator. So if you're looking to get off the beaten path, camp somewhere other than a campsite, that's the gear that you'll wanna add to your Lance 1172. Let's look right back here. And it's gonna have the uh, handles for dumping the, what they call body waste and liquid waste. So obviously this is going to be toilet water and your gray water. Now, both of those are 35 gallon tanks, so you've got plenty of tank space on this. Outside shower, pretty easy to see. Uh, you do have low point drains right here on the bottom, so they're easy access. You're not gonna be hunting for them underneath. Um, and a battery disconnect right here. Very easy to access, very easy to connect to. You've also got your park cable and your satellite hookups. If you do happen to be in a campsite that has that available. I really appreciate all of this being in one place, easy access. And when this is on your truck, it's gonna be higher up in the air. You're not gonna have to kneel down on the ground like I'm doing now. But I like to show you with this off the truck so you can see uh, that you can camp in it off the truck, have it a little lower down, works well. All right, let's keep going around to the back here. Now, of course, this is the only rear slide out model that Lance makes. Uh, the rear slide is what makes it feel so open in there, able to have two big slides, and it, it just gives every camper like this a different feel. Now, if you head up this ladder, you're gonna see the full walk-on roof. All Lance units have a full walk-on roof and the TPO covering has a 20 year warranty. You'll also see two 100 watt solar panels, which are an option, as well as the optional satellite, which is an auto locator by Weingard. So you push a button, it's gonna find all the satellite that's within your range there. There is a standard uh, King Wi-Fi extender. Uh, it isn't 
complete Wi-Fi. It is an extender once you hook that up if you want to use that. And of course you've noticed the slide out cover that is on this rear slide out. You know, again, that is going to protect your slide out in the future from the rain, the sun, the wind, the leaves, everything. Really nice feature to add. I try to point out what's optional, what's not. If you have questions, look it up, but uh, the slide out covers are optional. Now let's talk about this rear window. This looks like all the rest of the windows, but it doesn't open. And the reason is because you will have possibly exhaust coming from your generator or the back of your truck. You want to avoid any carbon monoxide poisoning with that exhaust coming in this rear window. So by code, you can't open that one. All the rest are those acrylic windows that you can open. Remember, you cannot crawl up on the roof unless this slide out is in. You'll figure that out but you'll want to climb up there if you need to get up there for any reason while this unit is all closed up. Underneath, also closed up, a little easier to access, but you can get to it when this slide out is out. Let's see what's under here. What you've got is some really nice storage. Now under here, you'll see a top shelf. It's carpeted, so if you have smaller items, you can put them up there. And that is clipped in, so if you unclip that, you can slide it closer to you, to basically so you can reach everything. And underneath has the rubber coin floor. Um, so this space is about two, two and a half feet deep, so quite a nice area to fit everything. If you wanted to take that top shelf out, you could do that really easily. Just unclip it and remove it. Over here on the left, You've got a standard sewer hose holder right there. And on the right hand side, let me back up just a little bit so you can see it. This will be the automatic transfer relay and the connections for your jacks. This is simply an access panel, but really nice if you have to reset your jacks or do any maintenance work here. One thing I didn't mention is another option right here on this back wall. It's the backup camera on the top. Always a great feature to add with a truck camper so you can see everything that's behind you. A lot of the trucks are gonna come with that backup camera that is on your bumper or on your tailgate. Many times when you remove your tailgate to fit your truck camper in there, that uh, actually disconnects that backup camera. So if that's important to you, you might wanna add that feature. All right. Two nice lights, patio lights back here. That's super handy if you need to find something in your uh, storage or just to light up your campsite. Let's come around to the front, a few more things to talk about there. Besides the changes to all the Truma features that I mentioned inside, um, there have been standard things that have been with Lance for a long time. If you're not familiar with it, you need to know that this is a welded aluminum construction. They build a very strong camper with the laminated walls. It is four season. You've got the heated and enclosed tanks underneath and Great insulation all the way around. Of course, these double paned windows. It is gonna be a great camper if you wanna get off the grid or if you wanna camp in extreme weather. So keep that in mind. If that's important to you, Lance definitely fits that bill. Thanks for watching guys. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. If you have questions, you let us know. We will have all kinds of details in the description below. You can subscribe and see all the new things that come out. I'll see you next time.